All right, what's up guys, Prox here, and I am back with another video for you, and this time to explain the sort of issue that came up in the blend materials tutorial. So I'm gonna go through it again, but this time with a face, because the last time I used a sphere, and the commenter didn't really understand why you couldn't use a, a gradient ramp for the situation, and I sort of, that, that's partially my fault, because I didn't understand and didn't explain the background for it. A week ago, a subscriber by the name of Wyish asked me for a little bit of help with a project that he was going on. He was making a uh, logo for some client, uh, and he wanted to have a mask with gold and porcelain on the same model without using, you know, multi-sub object with, uh, with polygon support and all that kind of stuff. He wanted to have a separate custom mask with custom paint on it. And and I, I he sent me the model and I actually remodeled it and and I cleaned it up and <laughs> put a lot of effort into it actually. And I made custom textures, I made custom masks, everything was great and <laughs> I got a blue screen of death. And one of my drives sort of failed out. It didn't die. It just failed out for some reason. And I had to reinstall. I had to reinstall Windows and just format everything. Luckily, I had backup of almost all my stuff, but the mask in the project that I did then was not in the backups. So I quickly made the video uh, about the blend material so that he could do it himself. Uh, because it sucks to keep a client waiting just because uh, a computer failed or something happened, you know? Uh, so I put that video out fast and I used a sphere instead of a, ma instead of a, a face or a mask. Uh, and that confused <laughs> some other people thinking that what I was trying to do was grade a, get a gradient transition from one material to another, which was not what I was trying to explain. I was trying to explain that if you use a custom mask such as this one you could uh, selectively choose where on your model you wanted to have this material which is a goldish material and where on your model you can have this material which is this sort of a porcelain uh, just a gray with a little bit of reflection and uh, not only do you have uh, does this uh, this avoids multiple problems a lot of people think that you could just use the reflectivity, uh, the color swatch, and just put this map here. However, that would turn off the reflectivity of this completely, and we want it to be reflective. Well, then some people would say, well, then you could just change your mask to have it, uh, say, gray instead of black in the, in the other areas to give it some reflectivity there. Yes, that would do it, but then you would get 40 index of refraction reflectivity on the porcelain part with which porcelain doesn't have porcelain has more of a 1.4 which this material has and then some people would say well what's this box here can't you just uh, apply this mask to the index of refraction slot technically you should be able to do that that's what it's for but it doesn't work for some reason I don't know I, I haven't I haven't seen a fix on it from Mental Ray or from Autodesk or anybody on how to fix that. I posted on their site, I posted on their forum, they responded. They were going to look into the issue. But I still needed to do this. Uh, I still needed to uh, sort of show him a way of doing it. So I came up with a workaround. I used the blend material. And the, what the blend material allowed me to do with this custom mask is it allows me to have this material on the white parts and this material on the black parts giving me two different index of refraction materials on the same model on in the same material which isn't possible because this part right here this box right here is broken for some reason it works to some extent, but not with the extremes that we are using. 
So when you set this up, two different materials with this kind of uh, of a with this kind of a mask that's custom. It's not a gradient, and you couldn't possibly do this with a gradient, no matter how hard you prayed or begged. But I'm, I'm I understand his mis misunderstanding, and uh, so I make so I'm making another video for him to to learn from. To learn from that I guess I learned from it as well you know I guess I need to learn to make better videos and this is the result hopefully it's better so this is what you get if you use a mask to split two materials and have gold on one and uh, porcelain or whatever you want on the other right great I hope that explains it I hope that explains why you can't use a gradient map why you have to have a custom mask and as I said in the last video you can always change chain blend materials if you want to have more than two types of index of refraction you just chain more blend materials um, I wish you, you could have a uh, an alpha mask, which would choose the alpha channel and have multiple materials here. But that's you know that it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. So thank you guys for watching. I hope that clears up a lot of issues. And I will go to the cinemas now, and I'm gonna watch the Looper. Hopefully it's a good video. Hope hopefully it's a good video. Well, it's a video, but I, it, I I I'd rather refer to it as a movie. Hopefully it's a good movie and see if we have some fun so thank you guys for watching